Hey, it's Lindsay with Ryan and Rose, and today we're talking about my prayer journals. Um, this is a question I get all the time. I get asked, how do you pray? How do you implement a prayer journal in your life? And we kind of kid, because these are like my golden books. Like if you, if, like I've, what's kind of crazy is I keep them in the safe. Like that's how important they are and how valuable they are to me and my family, just because they've been with me through the years and they've gotten me through those hard times because of the Lord. Um, and me being a kinesthetic learner, like I love to write things down and, um, be able to see like, oh my gosh, look what God's done. So I thought I would kind of show you some tips because I get asked about it all the time. Um, I have a bunch of different types of journals that I've had in the, like I have journals basically from when I was in college as well. Um, and I don't really have a favorite. People always ask me, what, which ones are your favorite? And I basically just like one with lines, <laughs> I mean, talking about not picky at all. Um, yeah, so you can see this is the one, the last one I had. And then this one I got from Anthropology, and I love it because I'm able to put a pin in it. Um, but also it has lines as well. Um, so yeah, so today I thought I would share a few tips about starting a prayer journal and what I recommend that you should kind of put in your prayer journal. The cool thing is there's not a right or wrong way. There's no rules. The only thing I would say is make sure you date it because you want to be able to go back and see, okay, when was I going through this in my life? How did I get through that? Okay, that was that two years ago. Was that four years ago? And it's like, wow, you can look back and see, gosh, God did so much, Even, maybe in that short amount of time, or maybe it took a few years, but it's so cool to be able to go back. So make sure you date it. That's rule number one. Um, secondly, we talk about, just talk about your life. Um, a lot of times people ask me like, well, how do you pray? Um, and me, it's, just talking to the Lord, have a relationship, just like he's my BFF. You know, um, I talk about everything. I talk about my worries. I talked about what I'm thankful for. I talk about my family. I pray for every aspect of my life. And you'll kind of see, I'm going to show you some examples of how I pray about everything. It's the little things, the medium things, and the big things. And he wants you to talk about it all. So there's nothing off limits with God. Like he wants to have those conversations with you, which is what makes us so beautiful. Um, so so yeah, write down what's going on in your life. Um, write down what you're thankful for. I think sometimes in prayer we get stuck about only praying for our needs. Lord, I need this. Lord, I want this. Lord, help me to do this. But remember to thank Him. Like, thank Him for all He's done for you. Thank Him for how He's blessed your life. Maybe He's blessed your family's life. Um, and it's important to have those positives as well as those worries and those, those other desires. Um, so yeah, don't forget to thank Him. Um, also, this is where all my worries, all my fears, once I learn how to give it all to God, and it's like, yeah, Lindsay, that's easy to say, um, but once you do it, it's like, oh my gosh, I can breathe. Like, this is a le legit, true thing. Once, and me, sometimes it's not just saying it. For me, it's writing it. Lord, I give this to you. You are in full control. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff, I think, which is really cool with social media. I'm able to show my life. I'm able to show my struggles. I'm able to show the ups and downs. Um, but it's important that you write them down so you, as you go through your life, you can see um, how you've gotten through it. But I write down all my worries. Usually if there's something bothering me or something stressing me out, or you can like, Brett's like, what's wrong with you? Or I'm really obsessing about something. It's like, oh wait, time out. You need to write in your prayer journal. Like you need to, to, to get it, put your heart on the line, put it all out there. Um, and write it down. And so that's me. That's my way of giving it to, to the Lord, writing it down. This is, I'm giving it to you. So this is something I highly recommend for you. Um, also my prayers. Um, and it's not just about me and my family. It's about my friends. It's a, when I was a teacher, I prayed for my kids. I prayed for their families. And now um, you'll see all in my prayer journal. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for our products, the safety. I'm praying for the families, the babies that use it. Also for the babies' um, families, like that they are able to 
you know, be abundant and multiply and be blessed. Um, so I think sometimes we get so worried about praying for ourselves, um, and it's so such a beautiful thing when we can pray for others and maybe people you don't even know, or so maybe somebody that's getting under your skin, pray for them. Um, I've had, when I was a teacher, I had some experiences where it's like, this person is really getting to me and it's like, nope, I need to stop and I need to pray for them and I need to help me figure this out because in this, um, this is just my time to, to write it down and get, get it off my heart and get it in here. Um, it's so crazy because me and Brett today, we're going through this. This is starts, let's see, 2016, February 20, 2016. And there's like really in the beginning, I skip a whole year. I was like, I didn't write in my prayer journal. And it was like, I think when I wrote, I was like, Lord, a lot has happened. Um, and I think that's what it's important for me to tell you. I don't write in this every night. I don't, I wish I could. I wish I could say I write in it every week, but I don't. Um, but I do try to write in it as much as possible. But really it's like when something's on my heart um, and I'm struggling with something is when I come um, and I, I write it down. So pray for your families, pray for yourself, pray for your friends, pray for the big things, the little things. Um, and then a lot, of, another thing that I recommend a lot of people to do is this, if there's something I'm struggling with, I'll find some prayers in the Bible that relate to this situation and I'll write them down. Um, Mark 9, 23, all things are possible for those who believe. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So if I'm struggling for something, I write and I try to find those verses that supports and tells me all the blessings that he's gonna give me, all the help he's gonna give me, and you put them in here and you stand on it and you pray about it and you stand on that faith. Um, and it's just pretty amazing to see what he's done. So overall, write the date, right? Write the month, date, year, write down your worries, write down what you're thankful for, write down all your prayers. Remember, no prayer is big, too big, too small for God. He wants to hear it all. Um, and yeah, I, I try to tell people in my stories at Ryan and Rose um, on Instagram that you know, prayer is just, it's just a conversation with the Lord. Um, it doesn't have to be a certain time of day. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not a right when I wake up, pray kind of person. And that's not, it's okay. Like there's not right or wrong way to pray. Um, I pray the best in the shower. I pray the best when I'm driving or when I'm getting ready. Um, even last night I did a story and I was like, we're riding. That is a huge prayer time for me. Um, that time, quiet time that I'm able to just kind of enjoy the moment and just pray about all the different things that's happened that day um, or what's coming in the future. Um, so yeah, just pray all the time. That's what God wants. He wants that continuous prayer all day. And this is just one way that I pray. Um, so yeah, let's get kind of kind of into the, the deep stuff. It's really cool to see how God's worked. So um, I kind of... <laughs> I kind of marked a lot of spots. So this is February 24, 2016. Um, one thing that I wrote that really stuck out, it said, one God idea is worth more than a thousand good ideas. Um, and I tried to really, really write everything because um, you never know what he's gonna give you. So this is kind of a funny one. So Brett used to dip and it drove me crazy. I'm talking about tobacco in the lip, spitting, yeah. Forever he dipped. And so this is one thing to show you that I pray about everything. Um, and it was one thing that like when he dipped, I never like harped on him. I never like told him how much it bothered me. I prayed about it instead of, you know, nagging or anything like that. I brought it to prayer and I brought it to God. So it says, um, so this, what was the date? February, 2016. I pray that Brett stops dipping and that even though and that the thought of dipping makes him sick. I know that was so nice, right? Um, so I asked him today, so that was February, 2016. He stopped dipping. I know it was Super Bowl, so February, 2017. So that prayer, that one prayer is in this book multiple times. So it took him a year. It also shows you that not all prayers are instant. Sometimes they take months, sometimes they take years, sometimes they might ten, take 10 years, um, but he's listening and he's, he's always there and he wants you to Put your faith and put your heart all in these books. All right, another one. This is one I remember reading a while back. And because one thing, as y'all know, we had a miscarriage before Ryan. Um, and when I was a child, I was told I could never have kids. Um, we end up having Ryan Rose, which is a blessing. And so like, I was like, Lord, like, do you want us to have another kid? You know, I'm super grateful for the one we have. She is a blessing, like, but do you, what's your will? So this is one thing that I highlighted that I saw. Lord, whatever you want us to have, another child or not, I give it all to you. I want your will. Lead us. Give us peace. 
um, and then I kind of go in to pray for my family, friends. So that's one instance. So it's just really cool to now look back and see like, I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what God's will was, but I was praying about it and I was putting it in his hands. Um, so let's, let's see another one. This one, oh, I like this one. Okay, so this is February 2016, February 27th, 2016. This is your business and your success. I pray for big things. Just like you gave George Washington Carver the idea to different ways to use the peanuts, I pray that I do everything you want. Um, I want me to do, oh, all you want me to do with cutie clips. I'm praying big prayers and having big faith. Um, I truly want your will for my life. Uh, I know I've said this multiple times, like if you asked me years ago what I would be doing in 30 years, I would say, oh, I'd be interpreting. Um, but God had different plans. He wanted me to be a teacher. Um, and then he wanted me to be uh, an entrepreneur. Um, all right, so here's another one I had saved. January 30th, 2017. All right, this is kind of funny. Right now we have 96.5 thousand followers. It is a good goal to get to 100,000 next month. That's one of my goals. So I'm telling you, I wrote about everything. I wrote about Instagram, I wrote about followers, I wrote about post, right? So that was January, 2017. Right now is August, 2019, and we have over 700,000 followers. So we grew 600,000 followers in two years, like mind blowing. Um, but just to look back in 2017 that I had under 100,000, it's just, Given those little things to God. All right, let's find another one. I'm just telling you, this is so much fun. It is so much fun to go back. All right, so I've told many stories about the struggle. Um, it's really easy for people to look at my business now and see like, wow, she's so successful. But this is year six, and it took us years and years and years to get where we're at right now. Um, it took us four years four years to pay myself. I was paying my employees, but I wasn't paying myself. Um, and I think it's important for us, for others to realize that. So this is one of my prayers. This is Saturday, February 25th, 2017. I'm fully trusting in you regarding my finances where everything, everything I need. I need $3,000 by the end of the month to pay payroll and be able to pay myself a little bit. I believe and receive that you will provide. He did provide. There are so many times I remember being upstairs in front of that cutie clip wall and being on my knees and praying. See, God's talking. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. It's raining. He's talking to us. Um, but praying and being like, Lord, I know you're going to provide. I know that you're going to do this. And he always did. I'm talking about since. Sometimes, like, I barely had just enough money to do payroll. I might not have paid myself, but I paid all that I was praying for. And it's just, there's so many instances in this tiny little book that shows how he was faithful, how he blessed us, and how he provided. Then, February 2017, Lord, I put my personal finances in your hands that I'm making money at Ryan and Rose, and that I'm able to pay myself and able to give back. So I'm just telling you, there are so many times um, that we were talking about finances. We were talking about family. All right, I thought you would like this one. This is, I don't, there, I did not put a date on this. I'm, I'm 27 weeks pregnant. All right, Lord, I've struggled with Instagram lately, knowing what to post, what to say. Lord, I truly give this to you. It's in your hands. Put me in peace. Help me find the select the right pictures, know what to post and know what to say. So I'm telling you, I even prayed about Instagram and you're probably like, Lindsay, that's so silly, but no, it's not. He cares what you post. He cares what you say and he's going to help you and he's going to guide you through all of that. All right, let's find another one. All right. So here's the Pat Pat. I think this is right when I said I like went a year. Yeah. So I went from, let me find this. I went from 2000, February 2017 to February 2018, a whole year with not writing word. And I said, my goodness, a lot has happened since I wrote. For one, Charlie was born on June 2nd, and it kind of goes into her birth. But let me go to the next one. So that was, all right, February 2018. I went to a parenting class. I talked about that. Um, okay, here it is. In October 2017, you gave me the idea for the Pat Pat. If y'all have been around, y'all know we originally called it the Pat Pat um, and later had to change our name um, due to copyright, trademark. Um, 
stuff. Lesson learned. Glad I went through that. Definitely another God thing. Prayed about that a lot in here. Um, and pacifier and teether. We should have them for sale in March, and we couldn't be more excited. So, Lord, we give you our business and place it in your hands. From everything to the pat-pat testing, the colors, the packaging, it's all in your hands. We pray that the pat-pat passes all testing, that we pick the perfect, beautiful colors, even the tan color, because I've been stressing about it. I'm telling you. Uh, to the packaging, what words to put on the outside. This is your project, and I will give you all the glory. And I have tried. Um... I often say this is God's cutie pat. This is his project. This is his business and I'm just doing his will. But it shows you how I've prayed about everything, all the aspects. Um, March 2013. As I write this, I'm on my knees asking for your help and guidance. On days I feel stressed and overwhelmed, I remained, I'm reminded to get on my knees, pray, and slow down. Struggles. We all go through them. We've all been there. Um... And I think this, I think that's why the prayer journal means so much to me because I've been through those hard times. I've had those hard days. I've had those hard moments thing when it's like having to have that, that big faith, um, putting it all in his hands. Um, it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, so I, I just hope you've been able to get something from this. If you've watched our um, warehouse video. We also went through and told you many instances um, where I wrote in my prayer journal when I was leaving for Target. I talked about when we had the Walmart situation in here, Bye Bye Baby situation. It's just really cool to see all that God's done and and I, I've learned to give it all to Him. Like He knows what's best. Like people are like, what do you want to do in 10 years? I'm like, I don't know. I want to do what God wants me to do. Um, but putting it all, I mean right now I even pray for Ryan their future, Ryan and Charlie, their future husband. I pray for their soul and their spirit that they love Jesus even more than I do. Um, I pray for their intelligence, for their health. I pray a hedge of protection over our family. I pray for all of our family, our friends. Um, I pray against every sickness, every disease, and it's all in this. It's all in these books. These on these pages written. Um, so that's why I say my pages of gold. People always say, Lindsay, you should write a book, and I'm like. I ain't writing a book, but somebody could take these and could sure write an amazing book from these pages to see all that God has done in my life and my family's life. Um, so I just hope you feel encouraged maybe to start a prayer journal. Remember, it's not something you have to do every day. Start small. Just, just start writing down your heart, um, writing down those verses and um, just giving it to God. So. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. I can never say that word. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna have more videos just like this, trying to encourage you, to build you up. We're just super excited. We hope you follow us along on Instagram, at Ryan and Rose. Um, and don't forget to, to go get a cutie clip at ryanandrose.com. Don't wanna lose it, cutie clip it. But I'm Lindsay, and I will see you next time.